everybody, Tom Henry is how to Zhang Shi how to make one pot beef chili. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so for this recipe we'll start with one brown onion. And all we want to do with this is finely dice it. So we'll set that to the side. So next we'll need two carrots, so obviously the first thing we'll do is give these a quick peel. And with our carrots we'll just cut the stems off. Then slice lengthways, and all we want to do is chop these and get them as fine as you can. Just like so. Alright, let's move on to our stove. So guys, I'm just adding 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil into a pot on a medium to high heat. And to this we're going to add our onions and our carrots. And I'm also adding three crushed garlic cloves. And I'm also going to add in one kilo of beef mince. And we just want to cook this together until our mince has browned. Alright, so at this point we'll season with a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and we'll add in 3 teaspoons of chilli flakes. Let's mix that together. And at this point I'm going to add in two 400 gram cans of glass tomatoes. And to this I'm going to add 1 cup of beef stock. And I'm also going to add in 2 cans of kidney beans. So that's two 400 gram cans too. So let's mix that all together. And I'm just going to add in a tablespoon of tomato paste. Just to give this some richness. So let's mix that all together. And we just want to bring that up to the boil. Alright, so once that reaches a gentle boil, we'll turn the heat down to low to medium. And we just want to simmer that with the lid off. That will help thicken it up. Alright guys, so I'm just at the 10 minute mark now. And look at that, it's nicely thickened up, and that's just the way I like it. So I like it with a bit of a more soupy texture. Now if you want to thicken this up a touch more, simply add in a tablespoon of corn flour, and you'll get a more gravy-like texture. But let's go ahead and serve. Alright guys, and there we have it. So we're going to finish this up with some fresh coriander on top. Now in my case when I'm eating chili, I like to have it on its own, or quite simply just with some bread on the side, just to use that to dip. Now of course you can serve this any other way you like, so on top of pasta, on rice, on chips which is actually quite nice too, so that's completely up to you. And of course you can just put that into a tortilla wrap or a taco shell. Okay guys, and that's my take on chili, and you saw how easy and simple that is in just one pot. So as I mentioned, I, made, I served mine with bread, but you can of course put this on top of pasta, on top of rice, fill up a burrito, fill up a taco shell, Put it on top of nachos, whatever you like. Let me know in the comments how you want to have it, and let me know your favorite way to have chili. So, as always, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. And you can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. Now, I shouldn't be having this as I'm taking medication for reflux, but I'll do it for you guys. Oh, that is perfect, and it's raining outside right now. That chili goes perfectly. I'll see you all next time.